Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about the AeroPress uh, coffee maker. And the reason why I got the AeroPress is because, you know, I like making coffee. And so I want to make a more efficient way of making my coffee. Usually I would uh, do a pour over using something like this in a coffee filter. But usually what that, ha uh, what that means is that the brewing time for the coffee would be more than a minute, maybe a couple of minutes. And it ends up being a bit too bitter. And for someone like me who has a sensitive stomach, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really suit my stomach. And so what I decided to do is I get myself an AeroPress. The good thing about this uh, type of coffee, uh, coffee maker is not only is it like cheap, I got it for about 30 bucks, but the speed at which you can make coffee can be within, within or under a minute. And what this AeroPress comes with is a plunger, a plunger and a base. It comes with a funnel if you want to put um, pour uh, pour in coffee you, or water. You can use it like this. It comes with a another base. Actually, for example, if I wanted to make um, you know espresso, uh, like um, or at least espresso esque espresso like coffee, very concentrated coffee, I could put this here. I can put this on top. After screwing this uh, uh, porta filter in. You can, you can just uh, sit it on top like this, see? And uh, these uh, AeroPress coffee makers comes with about 300 filters, I think. And you just uh, get the filter. You unscrew this um, porta filter. You drop, or basket if you want to call it like a filter basket, that's your choice. You put in the filter and you just, uh, you know, throw it in like that, see? And it goes in just like that, see? And then you can just set this on top. And then um, pour in the coffee grounds, and then pour in the hot water, and then you can just uh, press it down, and uh, you know brew it very quickly. Of course, before I press it down, so that you have a maximum uh, extraction with minimum uh, brewing time, you stir that first. You stir that concoction for about 10 seconds, and then you uh, press it down. And so I'll go ahead and uh, make some coffee and show you the process of making coffee with the AeroPress coffee maker. So let me go ahead and do that for you. First, I need to go grind some coffee. Usually, I like to store my coffee beans in the fridge. Not in the refrigerator side, but on the freezer side of my uh, fridge. Uh, the benefit of uh, doing that, usually, is to keep your fr uh, beans uh, fresh as possible. For as, uh, fresh as long as possible. Let me put it that way. So I put in like one tablespoon of, uh, you know, coffee beans. I'll go ahead and put this back. And now that I have the coffee in here, I'll put the top on. I'll get the handle for this. And I'll go ahead and grind up the coffee. And with the uh, coffee grinded, I'm going to go ahead and add it to this, uh, you know, part of the AeroPress coffee maker. Pour it in. Shake it up so it like settles. Like so. I'm going to go ahead and before I set this on top, I'm going to go ahead and uh, brew the water. So, or heat up the water I should say. And so while that's brewing, I'm going to go ahead and set up the AeroPress for making the espresso shot. Or espresso-like coffee. <laughs> and so before you pour the coffee, usually you want to make sure that the you know, heat of the water is 175, um, I do believe, Fahrenheit. But since I don't have a thermometer, I just let it um, cool off. But for the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and just pour it in. And so one of the things that come with the AeroPress uh, coffee maker is one of these uh, stirring uh, rods. Not really a rod, but a stirring uh, implement. And you do that for about 10 seconds. Then you go ahead and get the you know, other part of the AeroPress and just press it on. And you want to put about 15 pounds of pressure down. 
but you know if you just uh, gently push it down that works pretty well and then I can take off the air press base and I have a perfect a one shot uh, cup of espresso nice right uh, there was some leakage because you know the cup is, in, is a bit too small but it works um, as far as I'm concerned and then this is very e easy to uh, clean actually you take off the base and you get all of this stuff usually I do this in the sink but for the sake of demonstration you don't have to actually throw away the coffee filter underneath um, coffee uh, paper filter you could actually just wash it and reuse it about 10 times and then it's too grimy to use and then to clean it you just simply push this and then wash this end and then it's um, good to go and so the espresso that comes um, out of this I'll go ahead and, and try it and tell you how it tastes one thing I notice is that the coffee that comes out of this given that the brew time is a lot shorter is uh, a lot less bitter the coffee that comes out is a lot less bitter there's a lot le um, lot more flavor that comes out and it's uh, actually spicy if, that, uh, if you can believe that this uh, coffee actually tastes a, a bit spicy and overall I like this um, you know a shot of espresso so thanks for listening if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel bye